Year 12s. This video is just going to run through a number of tips to help you make the most of your study time. Tip 1. Use the right language, and in particular, make use of buzzwords. For example, when talking about energy systems, use buzzwords such as yield, rate, intensity, and duration of the activity. Tip 2. It is important that students know how to link the differences between energy systems, such as their fuel amounts and byproducts, to the cause of fatigue. Fatigue is defined by VCAR as an inability to maintain a given intensity in an activity. Thus, for any drop in intensity, the athlete is said to be experiencing fatigue. Tip 3. For questions in the exam that include a scenario or graphs, it is important that you make the answer specific to the question. You can do this by including the names of people mentioned in the scenario, or by including specific points shown on the graph in your answer. This will show the examiners that you are able to apply your knowledge to different situations. Tip 4. For students striving for top scores, you need to have a good understanding of the complex concepts. In particular, the lactate inflection point as a chronic adaptation to aerobic training. For this, you'll need to know what type of training leads to an improved lip and how a higher lip will lead to an increase in athletic performance. Tip 5. Make sure you go through the study design and have a solid understanding of each topic. Tables can be really helpful for summarising information such as energy systems or the physical activity and sedentary behaviour guidelines. Tip 6. Be able to differentiate between similar concepts such as lactate tolerance and the lactate inflection point, as well as the difference between chronic adaptations and acute responses to exercise. Tip 7. Students should make sure they have examples of initiatives and strategies for each level of the social ecological model. This may include strategies that specifically target subpopulations such as children, women, or areas such as the workplace or school environment. Tip 8. Do a lot of practice with energy system interplay questions, as there tends to be a six mark question on this in the exam. It is important that your answer addresses the fact that energy system interplay is dependent on the intensity and duration of the activity. You should make reference to each energy system within your answer. I like to begin these responses with the general sentence that all three energy systems would be contributing to the energy production throughout the activity. Then go on to talk about each individual energy system from there. Tip 9. For PE, it's really important that you are able to link changes that occur in the body in response to training. For example, an increase in oxygen uptake, VO2 max, causes an improvement in athletic performance. It is also beneficial to have an idea of the values for VO2 max for trained and untrained athletes. Tip 10. A great way to get easy marks is to memorize two fitness tests for each fitness component. Just make sure the two tests can apply to different sports. Also remember that fitness tests are distinctly different from the methods used to determine an individual's level of physical activity. Thanks for watching and good luck.